freezer uh, means the packaging only we are going to learn about the packaging material but the next term you all are going to learn about the freezing of the fish that time you will learn this concept more that the various type of fish and various type of the fishing material are stored into the various type of the temperature and for that the various type of freezers are there we have seen only one type of freezer there are many type of freezer air glass freezer these that many freezers are there so all this make sure that the fish are uh, staying into its fresh uh, state that is the our favorite state rigor mortis state for the longer time so any process which delays the uh, means decaying so that process are uh, ma maintained and that quality is controlled so for that purpose the fish need to be handled very carefully and hygienically packed and then only it should can be uh, go for the subsequent storage and transport so the packages and packaging material selected should be able to reduce its fat oxidation because we know if the fat oxidation is done it will going to produce the uh, rancidity into the product then as well as we need to maintain the hydration in it so moist proper moisturization is also required because if fish is dehydrated so enzymatic activity will change its flavor therefore we need to protect it against now if we are maintaining the hydration so we need to take care of the bacteria in it as well as we need to take care of the chemical spoilage prevent the odor then permeation then elimination drip so all these things we need to take care packaging material in general are divided on the three level primary packaging secondary packaging and the tertiary packaging we are going to discuss about primary secondary and tertiary packaging materials thereafter we all are going to use the different material required for the different stages so in the primary packaging material generally we use the plastics primary means the materials which are coming in direct contact with the fish surface so the primary material most of the comprise of the plastics so the primary package in contact with the frozen product if it is a frozen product so directly it's a plastic derived from natural hydrocarbon source used for the bulk transport now we use polyfin also for this purpose plastic with the good moisture vapor barriers and stability at low temperature are required for the storage of the frozen fish and good vapor barrier vapor barrier why we require because the other moisture we don't want we want to just maintain the moisture which is present in the body of the fish so this is required to prevent the oxidation of the fat in frozen fatty fish the group of plastic is called as the polyfins which include polyethylene means polyfin is the general brand means name uh, you can say the chemical name of it but it has many derivatives like polyethylene polypropylene then its copolymers these all are used we are going to learn one by one all this packaging material in detail also then plastic and paper based packaging is transport to microwave passive packaging therefore it can be used to contain the food which are to be microwave so directly uh, now you might have seen that most of the time we are, we are bringing the material so this cans we don't have so much but when we are observing in the foreign countries they are just whatever package they have brought they directly keep that can only into the microwaves so this is called as the passive packaging and therefore the food is directly microwave then thin polyester films can be metalized with the aluminum and laminated with the supporting board when microwaved the aluminum absorbs a certain amount of radiation and generate the heat and it helps into the cooking the product then thereafter in the primary packaging we also use the cartons the cartons can also be uh, regarded as a primary packages when they are used as a protective sleeve to the product see primary packaging we need to remember that they are coming and they are sleeving the product the boards for the cartons can be made of the craft board then folding box, uh, box board recycled fiber board then 
after primary packaging the secondary packaging is required why we required so much of packaging because the fish is the highly perishable material so uh, this frozen fish they are uh, means uh, well, they are kept into the various type of freezer for the longer time so that's why they are doing the primary packaging secondary packaging then tertiary packaging so now let's see what they use for the secondary packaging generally secondary packaging is done into the cartons which holds the number of primary packages means a small carton will be there in that small 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 cans will be there or primary packages will be there then the secondary packages are usually made up of boards and it can be bands of papers or it can be plastic like when uh, you will bring the big carton that means biscuits so when you will open the big biscuit pack so you will find in the big packet of the biscuit small 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 uh, biscuits are there which are wrapped right so the the packet which is in contact with the biscuit so that is the primary packet then the big biscuit packet is your secondary and then if company is giving it so the company will give into the master carton right so that is the tertiary packaging packaging so next is the tertiary packaging just now i told it is used to hold the number of secondary packages so primary in contact with the product secondary many primary in that and tertiary will have the secondary packages tertiary packaging may be pelletized or easy handling wrapped with the string then it may have the big big containers it can be the wooden pallets also then uh, it comprise of the master carton which can be color coded and more easily clean because now say fish uh, in not actually not in the fish case in the case of the crabs so when the crabs packaging is done so uh, crab different parts are packed into the different type of packages means their uh, limbs then their stomach part sold differently and as well as in the case of the fish also fish egg are packed into the different type of container then fish part uh, means some fillets are made sometimes the fish sillage are been made so different type of Uh, fish balls are made so different type of things are packed into the different into the same industry so what they do they make the color code so because of that color code they can easily identify that this master carton is having the secondary package of so and so so various materials are required for making all such primary secondary tertiary packaging so one by one we will discuss in this lecture about the various packaging material we we'll begin with the polyfilm just now i told you that it is used for the primary packaging so what is the polyfilm polyfilm is a type of polymer this polymer is produced from simple olefin which is also called as an alkene with the general formula cnh2n as a monomer now uh, example of polyfilm polyfilm is polyethylene the polyfilm which produce the polymerizing of the olefin of ethylene then polypropylene is the another common polyfilm which is made from the olefin propylene then polyfilm sheets or the foams are used into the wide variety of packaging applications sometime into the direct contact sometime uh, in the case of the fish most of the time it is used in the direct contact with the food just now i told you direct contact with the material is called as the primary packaging so the, the role of polyfilm is for the primary packaging then wax duplex carton it is very essential for controlling the detrimental effects of the oxygen just now i told that oxygen causes what it causes the oxidation of the fat and produces the rancidity so desiccation bearing the entry of air and the escape of moisture so it uh, wax duplex carton Uh, it helps in the maintenance means it just lock the inside moisture and do not let the outer air to come inside another property to be looked into its capacity to protect the content from the flavor contamination because the uh, product will not dehydrate so the flavor will not be changed not only this the flavor will not contaminated also 
because it prevents the injury of microorganism not only this it also helps to for the mechanical damage and exposure of the lime then folding paper board duplex carton is the most important primary packages used in the export of the frozen seafood these cartons are given a wax coating for the protection of the content from the loss of moisture now you might have seen certain type of packages very well because the inside wax is present so this wax is making a uh, you can say the waterproofing like boundary over it the material used for the purpose is a solid brick surface board this is important to remember this can be asked for the mcq uh, for the purpose of the waxing solid bleached sulfate board is used then frozen block weighing approximate 2 kg packed in such carton lined with the 100 to 125 gauge low density polyethylene sheet sometimes the wax duplex carton is also used for the secondary type of packaging then master carton just now i told it is used for the tertiary packaging master carton is corrugated box that used for the bread consolidation means whatever things are there are been consolidated secondary packages are been kept in it it is a form of tertiary packaging while shipping product from the factory to the warehouse the distributors and the retailer stores the product need to be bundled accordingly so this is where the master cartons come handy here is the simple representation means i have not added diagram in uh, this slide now cans cans is one of the most important topic in this particular uh, part because the cans um, not only exam point of view but it is most important thing uh, and it is the most demanding packaging okay so cans first of all it was developed into the 19th century and i told you that cans are very handy means if you have purchased a can and if it is ready to use then you don't require to wash utensil and all so it is very much favorite item of the consumer and i told you that whatever things are been designed so it is designed consumer point of view so it should be sold more and it should will get it should get the more and more market demand so tin plate metal container used in the early days and uh, that was called as the canisters from which the term can is believed to be have been derived then each container has certain exclusive uses in the course of development now it is plastic cans are also available but we are going to discuss about the various cans under this heading now uh, see the selection of one container over the other is usually decided on the basis of process product cost of production three things are important means processing just now i told you that if the cans are made up of the plastic type of material so directly can be microwave right then which type of product you are going to use you cannot use the plastic can for the longer time aluminum cans or whatever so every can is uh, decided on the basis of the product which type of product you are going to sell then not only this we need to take care of cost of production because if the cans are very costly so it is very difficult to sell it because ultimately what is happening if i am uh, paying 5 rupees on the canning and i required lots of uh, manpower also no for the canning purpose so definitely i will increase the cost rupees 10 on my fish so all these things has to be taken care of cost then process then product then first we'll talk about the tin cans tin cans are most frequently used container for packaging food it is made up of the tin plates the tin can is made up of about 98% steel and 2% tin coating on the either side i repeat we say it is a tin can but it is having only 2% of tin on it and uh, that is also only the coating either side now the base steel used for making can is referred at the cmq 
or can making quality still then corrosion behavior strength and durability of tin plate depends on the chemical composition of the steel base because if good quality steel you are going to use definitely it will uh, give means what the outer core will be give the more and more protection the active element are principally copper and the phosphorus depending on the degree of workability strength and corrosion resistance required the case of plate four type of steels are been used l type mr type mc type and m type first three are produced by the cold reduction process and the m type is similar to the type mc in the composition but produced by the hot reduction process so now uh, this tin food or food packs in the tin coated can gradually lose their natural colors then why do we use we use a liquor coating on the inner side of the can so this liquors is nothing but the coating i told you in the previous lecture also that the liquor means the coating we are making certain kind type of coating so this type of coating prevents this type of corrosion and because of corrosion only there is a change into the uh, taste and all so the can uh, body protects contain against the entry of microorganism insects air be means uh, it is quite rough and tough kind so it prevents the food for a very uh, good time and if you want to prevent the food or pack material for long time the cans are most preferable they are light in weight and can be handled with ease and very important advantage is that can can be sterilized at high temperature as well as the pressure means if you are using the uh, retort pouches and etc so sterilization become a little bit challenging task but if you are using it can because see canning i am going to show you the video of the canning in that you are going to observe that first it is pasteurized with the high heat means it is the only process which requires the heating as well as the cooling and both on the very very uh, challenging temperature so for that particular purpose the pur uh, this uh, can material serve this purpose means it helps it enables uh, the people to maintain the uh, that temperature suitable for the product and the product cannot be harmed now next can we are going to learn is the aluminium can it was noticed that organoleptic quality of food packed in the containers are gradually decreased so that particular purpose the aluminium cans are replaced with the tin cans because see, uh, if organoleptic quality organoleptic quality means the quality which we observe with our senses so little bit color changes and all were observed into the tin cans and now we know into the industry we always go for the better uh, things so the <coughs> tin cans were replaced with the aluminium can and this led to the introduction of another important container that is the aluminium alloy can aluminium can container used for the packaging meat and fish products as early as 1918 remember the year these are now being used extensively into the european countries because of the availability of the raw materials and less cost for the production due to plenty of electricity in those countries since they have lots of electricity so they can produce it then various type of aluminium and its alloys are used we have seen in the case of steel also that they were using the four type of steel here also various type of aluminium are been used the aluminium in grade of 1000 is called as the pure that is 99.7 percent f2 and these are used for foil and sludge for the impact of extrude cans then the alloy in the grade 3000 are used mainly as the sheet for deep drawn cans and the crane cans then magnesium is added to increase the strength because we know we are using the aluminium sheets at home so we are well aware of it so to give it strength they are adding the magnesium that the best promising alternative to tin plate has been considered as the aluminium modified by alloying see alloy means the mixing of two metal okay uh, with the magnesium and the magnesium aluminium possesses good corrosion resistance they offer good resistance to the external atmospheric corrosion 
and now in case of the steel we saw the limitations we need to like cure it with the tins then aluminum containers are easy to fabricate it is possible to set up a can manufacturing unit for good canning factory then machinery for such unit is very simple and highly profitable so definitely cost it is affecting the cost affecting the process also and the thing is the durability then cans are produced in a wide variety of sizes and shapes with the attractive appearance they are light in weight aluminum has got a good scrap value then aluminum cans being light in weight requires special attention during heat processing after heat processing cooling has to be done under the pressure aluminum cans with ease opening lid are becoming more and more popular nowadays then free tin free steel cans this was developed in the japan under the different names such as can super hinak coat high top by different manufacturers they are prepared by electro plating cold roller or steel sheet with the chromium in chromic acid because we saw that tin was uh, affecting the texture so definitely we need to come up with something uh, so we came up with the aluminum then we found that aluminum is bit heat sensitive then we again went back to the steel cans so these steel cans are prepared by electroplating cold roller steel sheet with the chromium and chromic acid the point to be remember then tin uh, tin free steel can is an important alternative to the tin cans it has steel base with the chromium uh, or chromium oxide coating on the surface replacing the tin in the conventional cans so how do we replace the tin because see here the problem was the tin only so the, but directly steel can cannot be used because of the corrosion purpose so first we tried with the uh, tin then we found that tin is not that effective so we make the liquor or we make the covering of the chromic acid okay then uh, tin free steel uh, cans as a steel base with the chromium oxide coating surface replacing the tin conventional cans then the appearance of the can is bright or semi bright as compared to the steel plate because of the low abrasion resistance of the tin uh, free steel it is need to be protected by the lecure film now this is very important because tin was doing the lecure work there so here we need to protect it with the extra lecure film however the surface of the tin free steel cans provided with the excellent substrate for the <coughs> lecure adhesion which ensures the superior performance in the terms of product compatibility for many food products polymer coated tin free cans can have the application in the seafood packaging now what cans we see what traditionally used for heat sterilizer products Today there are several choices: standard tin plates, then lightweight tin plates, double reduced tin plates, tin free steel vacuum, deposited aluminium on steel and aluminium. For food products packaging, they are coated inside to get the desirable properties like acid resistant, sulfur resistant. But care has to be taken to avoid tainting of the liquor because if the liquor is tainted, what is going to be happen? The corrosion will happen. And if the corrosion will have occur, definitely it is going to affect the moisture. If moisture is affected, bacterial contamination will be there. If bacterial contamination will be there, then it is going to affect the organoleptic quality. So metal cans are advantages as the packages because of the superior strength, high speed manufacturing, and easy filling and dosing. But disadvantages: weight, difficulty in reclosing, and disposable. then lecure can the another replacement so lecure can is nothing but our can only but it is having the extra protective coating from the inner surface now we have seen already the tin coating and all are done but thereafter they are making another inner surface of the metal uh, after the heat treatment some lecure type things they are adding now see uh, what happened this protective layer is known as the lecure now what are the application now this lecure can first of all we are going to use the three things of the lecure sometimes we are using the sheet just now i told you about another metal can be used 
so this uh, can be make the roller coater then we can make use of the foil coating by reverse roll, roller coater as well as the lacquer can be the spray also color or paint type something can be used then what is the importance of lacquer coating so it protects the metal from the corrosion which is the main demand because we need to use the metal because canning requires the high temperature as well as the freezing so for that particular purpose we definitely required the canning because we cannot change the material uh, this is the complete automated and sterilized process the packaging is the completely automated sterilized process so we cannot keep on changing the utensils so whatever uh, can you are using so that is only run for the full processing so for that reason you required the metal only so the metal was having the limitation of the corrosion so we brought the lacquering of that so most of the cans are made up of steel or aluminium which are susceptible to the corrosion lacquer which coated on the top of metal can act as a protection to the metal can then it protects can from any possibility of interaction between the metal and the food product because metal if it comes in the contact of the food product you know what is going to happen then lacquer can limit the interaction between the can itself and the food production to avoid the discoloration of pigment such as anthocyanin tooth and all so whatever things are there means the pigmented tooth and all also be packed into the uh like your can so metal can be like your protect the discoloration of fruits back inside the can then retort pouches i told you retort pouches in our general language we use the term tetra pouches so retort pouches are made up of mainly synthetic material retortable pouches as the name implies pouches are capable of retorting are the latest development in the canning industry so retort pouches is a rectangular type of package usually made of three layer lamination some manufacturers give additional layer for the better properties means they make the plastic coating of it it is usually made up of an outer polyester see you have to remember layers huh? so outer layer will be made up of the polyester middle is made up of the aluminum foil and inner is made up of the polypropylene we know it is the derivative of the polyethylene okay so outer layer polyester middle aluminum foil and inner is the uh, polypropylene layer so the outer laminate which is the polyester it provides the atmospheric barrier property as well as the mechanical strength then the aluminum it play provided protection from the gases light moisture and not only this aluminum helps into the better shelf life then inside uh, the innermost layer polypropylene layer it provides the best heat sealing medium so uh, this is all about the packaging material so for this note for today we'll stop